In fact, 65% of everybody learn visually. Amen, somebody? They watch what we do. And they do what they see. Amen, somebody? I hallelujah somebody. You want to know why they act that way? Because they saw it before. Amen? Because they learned visually. Hallelujah, y'all. They learn what they see. So we need to learn, remember that, we need to teach more than we tell. Hallelujah. You can't just tell your kid how to act. You have to show them how to act. Let them see you being polite at the dinner table. Let them see how you, you should dress right. Let them see how you should talk right. Let them see how you should act right. And children, you ought to watch your parents when they do the right thing. I'm telling you now, let me tell you something. I, I, I want to stop right here. I want to stop right here. I, I remember listening to that. I don't know how many of y'all saw that documentary on, on, on uh, uh, YES, I think it is, uh, uh, talking about New Orleans. And, 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 and it was one young man that came on that he said, we ate bologna sandwich all year long. Because our parents couldn't, my parents, my mother could not afford to buy something, to buy food, because she was doing other things. And, and he said it affected who I was. It caused me to do the things that I done. And he started explaining how it was easier to make money on drugs. Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about because it happened in your neighborhood. He said it's fake, but let me tell you something, people of God. Don't let your environment determine who you should be when you grow up. Y'all didn't hear me? Don't let come on somebody. Yes, we got problems. Yes, we got trouble in our home. Yes, that's a possibility. Mama was on drugs and daddy was in jail. Yes, it was frightened in the house. And yes, it was not enough food on the table. Make up your mind, children. Listen to me. I'm determined that what goes on, what went on, ain't gonna happen in my house. When I get my house, when, when I get on my own, there's gonna be a change. And let me tell you something, we got to change a generation. And the way to change a generation, they gotta start with you. Hallelujah, somebody. All right, let me just, let me just get really bad. If dad was an abuser, that don't make you an abuser. Amen, somebody. If it's wrong, don't grow up and be wrong. Hallelujah. If you saw daddy go to prison, you wake up in your mind, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to deny my son. I'm not going to deny my daughter. My presence, I'm going to be that for my child. Somebody help me here. Hallelujah, somebody. And because you're a child of divorce, don't mean you have to be involved in a divorce. Oh, y'all don't like it. Okay. I, 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 I'm teaching more than I'm telling. Amen, somebody. You can be better. You can be stronger. You can help me somebody. If you grow up poor, you can be rich. Somebody help me here. This is America. Opportunity is there and nobody can stop you. If they get in your way, turn it over to the Lord. I stop by the table. God will open the door for you. Amen? Not only will he open the door for you, but he's going to open the door for somebody else through you. That means God will open the door for you, then he'll open the door, another door for you to bless somebody else. God has put you here, helping somebody to be an example to somebody else. Hallelujah. No, you're not rich, but you are somebody. No, you didn't reach all your goals, but you got there, baby. You are where you are. Be proud of what you accomplished. Show somebody else. Encourage somebody else. Because there is somebody in your family, in your house, in your church house, got their head hanging down. You ought to pick their heads up. Hallelujah. Uh, have you ever heard the saying, there is more caught than thought? There's a lot of truth in this simple praise. As I come to a close, lastly but not leastly, pray more than you were. Hallelujah. That thing hit home. Pray more than you were. Hallelujah. Worry less. Pray more. When you pray more, you will worry less. But I stop by and tell you, when you pray, believe in what you're asking. Hallelujah. Because the God that we serve, he is real. Do you believe that? He's a mighty good God. He's a mighty powerful God. 